right now I'm playing this game on keyboard. Compability is perfect. Hello everybody, you are on Andream Hello channel. Today I'm going to show you how to turn your old laptop or computer into Android gaming machine. It is so easy, so anybody can do this for the first time. One of my viewers write me in the comment that there is very interesting operating system that works on Android 11 and you could run it on all devices. And I was excited to try this operating system. Prime OS, it's operating system that runs on Android 11. But this is beta version. Today I will install Prime OS on my USB drive. After that, you could run it from your USB drive or you can install it on your hard drive. The benefits of this operating system is not just that you can install app and games and run it on your device. The benefit is that you can play games on keyboard. For the example, if you install FIDOS, you may run Android games and apps, but most of them not optimized to use it with keyboard. In PrimeOS, you could just install game or app and you can run on your device using keyboard. Yes, this is very important because most operating systems just not optimized for this. If you want to try PrimeOS without installing it on your hard drive, you could run it from your USB drive. And also, you will be able to install Android games and apps even if you run it from your flash drive. It's so useful. This laptop since 2015 and it will be very interesting to look how this machine will work on this operating system. Before this video start, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It will help me a lot. For the beginning, we need to open our browser and then write next. Rufus. We need to download Rufus and it will help to install PrimeOS on our flash drive. Click here. Then you will have option to select the version of the program. Probably it's not so important which version of the program you will download. For the example, I will download the latest portable version. Click here. Now we just need to wait until Rufus download on our laptop or computer. After that, we need to open the next page and type next. Prime OS and press enter. Here you may see the first link. This is the official website to download and install Prime OS. All the links will be in the description. Click here. So after that, we will have some option that we can select. Here we need to select X86. And very important, today I'm going to show you how to run it from your USB drive. So we will try to install the last version of Prime OS. But pay attention that this is beta version. So probably it could have some issues and work not stable. But honestly, I don't have any problem with it. So click here and then select ISO. Click download now. After that, you just need to wait until you can download the link and the downloading process begin. So the file has about 1.6 GB and in my opinion, it's not so large. After Prime OS will be downloaded on a laptop or computer, I will show you how to install it on your USB drive using Rufus program. My friends, after you download Prime OS ISO file and Rufus, I recommend to insert your USB stick. I already do this. After that, we need to run Rufus program. Click on it. Probably I do not need new updates. Here you can see our USB stick. That's okay. And here we need to select our ISO file. Click here and we can see Prime OS. Click on it and open. After that, there are no special options that we need to change. We need to just click start. Also, be sure that all information will be deleted. Click OK. 
click another time, all information and all data will be deleted. So be sure to copy all important information to another hard drive or USB stick. And now we just need to wait until PrimeOS will be installed on our USB stick. After that, I will restart my laptop and I will show you how to run this operating system from your USB stick. Voila! We successfully installed PrimeOS on our USB stick. I recommend to close this window. After that, if you want to run PrimeOS on your laptop, you just need to restart your laptop, go to the BIOS and change priorities. But if you want to insert this flash drive to another computer, I recommend to safely remove it. You can safely remove your flash drive. So guys, after we install PrimeOS on our USB drive, we need to insert it to our laptop. After that, turn on the laptop and go to the BIOS. To go to the BIOS, I press F2 key, but you may press F1 key, F2 key, F12 key or F delete key. Also in some laptops you need to press Fn plus F2, F1 and all the keys that I previously say. And now we need to change priorities. We need to put our USB drive at the first place. In my case you can see USB storage device. Right now HDD are in the first place, so we just need to click here, apply all the changes and be sure to exit. After laptop restart, you may see this window. Today I want to show you how to run it from your USB drive, so you just need to select first option. Run PrimeOS without installation. Enter. So now you need to wait until it loads and we see Prime OS logo. Quite interesting. So guys, we are in the Prime OS. Click here. Now we just need to type some name. For the example, I just type user and press enter. Accept. Hi, welcome to Prime OS. So friends, now you could see how Prime OS looks. To use Prime OS with Google Play Store, I recommend to connect to the Wi-Fi. Click here. After that, click on the Wi-Fi and connect to your internet. Press enter. So I already connect to my Wi-Fi. So guys, before I run Google Play Store on my Dell E6440 laptop, I will show you system specification and the version of Prime OS. Click here about the tablet. And now you can see that this is name of my laptop, Dell E6440. And here you can see that we have Android 11. Click on it. The funniest thing, if we click third time on Android 11, we see the same thing as we can see on the smartphone. Also, I want to show you the interface of this operating system. If we click here, you can see browser, clock, contacts, play store, camera, and the other settings. And the most important, the benefits of this operating system is not the Google Play Store. It is how it optimizes to play games from the Google Play Store. I mean, the Prime OS have good compatibility with keyboard. So now you just need to sign to your account. I think it's not a hard process. So friends, I already signed to my account. You need to agree with all the terms. Right now we have opportunity to install games on Prime OS. For the example, I will install Odmar. So now we just need to install this game. How you see this game has about 500 megabytes. And be sure that right now I'm running Prime OS from my USB stick. Probably you could run this operating system from your flash drive. You could go to the browser, to the Google Play Store, install some games. This is a good solution if you have an old laptop or computer and you want to give them the second life. I already installed Odmar on my laptop. So I will close the Google Play Store 
and now we can see this game on our desktop click on it here we can select performance so the quality of the graphic may be worse but the performance will be at the highest level just click play so I run Odmar on my Dell E6440 laptop by using Prime OS. Also, the interesting fact that my laptop Dell E6440 has special keys to change volume and it perfectly works on Prime OS. And it's really optimized to play this game on keyboard. I will show you. Look. Probably you may see that right now I'm playing this game on keyboard. Compability is perfect. So friends, how you can see the game run quite well without any issues, but I want to remind you, we're running beta version of Prime OS. Actually, that is a stable version, but it runs on Android 7. Probably you may try this operating system if you have an old device. If you want to get the best performance, I recommend to install SSD in your laptop and then any operating system will work much faster. It doesn't matter. Windows 11, Fido OS, Chrome OS Flex, Prime OS. Any operating system will work much faster if your machine has SSD. So guys, how you see everything works perfectly. I will close this window and install another game from the Google Play Store. Let's install Stickman. Click install. If you want to get stable work of the operating system, I could not recommend running it from the USB stick. So let's run the second game. Click play. So friends, how you see, I already run this game. If we press here, we can jump. But the problem is, this game is just not optimized for the keyboard, it optimized for smartphones. So if you want to play Stickman, you need to click on the screen, you need to click on each of this icon to use the power of the character. Some games optimize well and some games not. For the example, you could not play Stickman on the keyboard, but that's not mean that the Prime OS is not optimized for keyboard, that's mean that this game from the Google Play Store is, has bad optimization. What I think about this operating system? Probably this is a good solution if you want to increase speed of your old device and also if you want to play Android games on your old machine. Probably you can try this. So friends, if this video was useful for you, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, it will help me a lot. On my channel you can watch a lot of interesting videos. Goodbye everyone, see you soon.